that a free action for a inquisitor? Inquisitor? How inquisitive. I had to make that joke. Somebody, somebody has not Uh, big class inquisitor. Let's see. Let's see here. I think it's swift. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'm checking. The PFS30 is loading. Oh, this is so gonna hurt. Bane is a swift action. Okay, uh, he'll use a swift action to, well, I guess it's greater Bane. Uh-huh, still swift. Uh, on his, his eyes glisten with magic and his guns begin to glow. Yeah, he's got double Bane, so he can put it on both guns. Adam's gone. Oh, we lost Adam. This guy's going to kill me in one round. <laughs> You could have done the same to him, but <laughs> really good. But you're not going to die though, because you're midwick. Now you're not surprised. You're not flat-footed. No. You you were you were actually sitting there drinking potions as you were watching him, so you could have got a surprise on him. But you were drinking potions. Okay. And he turned around and saw you. Then we rolled initiative, and that's how we ended up. All right, so here's the first five attacks. This is with uh, two <laughs> weapon fight. This is with two weapon fighting, rapid shot, and deadly aim. Ranged touch attack, right? And you can hit seventy feet away, Mark. Yeah, he also has um, limitless limitless range. range. Okay. Yeah, it's good times. Uh, range touch attack plus. Oh my god. He did he. Yeah, yeah. You hit everything. Okay. Uh, then two at twenty-two. Uh, hit and hit. Yeah. And two at that. All right, so they're all hits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's nothing I can do here, so. Yeah, so it's, um... Are these 46 on top of every hit? <laughs> on top of everything, okay, yeah. Okay, so I, I think you, there's going to be... We're going to snap into kill... story mode for a moment here. No, we're not killing you in your in your backstory. No, we're Just not killing you. Just to see what damage, if this was you actually facing the Reverend. Or a dragon, or what? Well, yeah. yeah. It would be. Oh my god! How many hits is this? Like nine. One. Actually, one, you know what? Uh, there, there is something about firearms. Uh, no, it's seven, eight, eight nine. Something else. Yeah, nine hits. Nine hits, Mark. So that's ninety-eight. Just roll damage just to see how much it is. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, nine. What's his threat eight. range? Uh, Nineteen twenty. I don't think I rolled any 19s or 20s. Nope. Eight, Close. Two 18s. Eight would be 200. He might be the one-eyed gunslinger. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. 264. Oh, plus nine. <laughs> Times thirty sixty six from the bane. Uh, yeah. Mark, what did you do? <laughs> Insane. <laughs> from the greater bane, and the greater bane adds another hundred and twenty one. So that's yeah, three, it kills me. Three hundred eighty five damage in one that's round. That's killed me at least. Uh, well, at least two times. Kills you, your cousin, and the dog in one round. <laughs> so, he just begins firing, and that last potion you had in your hand, you want to get to where your cousin is, right? You want to get away. 
as things yeah. start exploding around the ship as bullets hateful hateful bullets you feel the sting of the first one and you don't want to hear any more they just sort of spin and and begin to flame with this blackish flame the reverend is just ah! he's got this craze look at his face as he's he's pointing guns forward and moving and shooting and moving and shooting you just a barrage of them one of the bullets hits the gaseous form um um potion potion as it's hitting your hand your left hand and something weird happens to one of your guns and your hand goes all ghostly As you go tumbling from one boat, as he's jumping and kind of flying towards his cousin, and you're still firing, <laughs> firing in the air, as you're hitting Midwick, Midwick falls down hard to the, um, uh, to, the, uh, to the deck of the ship. Does the Reverend have any ability to hit things that he can't see? Like, does, do, can his bullets arc? Uh, no, he, he, he's got improved precise shots, so if it's... Partial cover, he ignores it, but if it's total cover, it makes no difference. The last thing that you hit is the top of Midwick's head as a bullet grazes your skull, Midwick. And everything goes to black as the two boats separate. The galleon that you absconded onto heading back into the Imperial City as the other caravel that you tried to escape on with with the Reverend heading out to sea. And I think next game will be how the hell does Midwick escape? And then what insane circumstance is he saved from by the malfunctioning powers of the White Wizard? Next time. Uh. <laughs> okay, Mark, you've just created the sickest character ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but he's got such a great personality, such a great template, the character that... Uh, that Bane, uh, come on! <laughs> not just Bane, dude. Greater, Greater Bane. Bane. <laughs> Fantastic. And you delivered these horrible, horrible... You actually helped craft the master These guns, yeah. of the guns that then got blessed by his religion that are now being yeah. used to kill and hunt you down. I'm going to think up something cool that happens to your arm that is related to ghostly. Okay. You might have some sort of weird ghost arm. That's cool. It's going to impact how I use my guns. <laughs> You're going to be spitting those bullets in your <laughs> Alright. That sucks. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I want to get out of there. <laughs> Adam's uh, scene has to do with, and I'll spoil this, the three brothers. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Oh, Adam sent a message. Internet has shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be back this evening. Got it. All right. Got it. Okay. So okay. this is actually a, a good place to end the, uh, to end the stream and sort of end the night. Uh, that was a lot of fun. These backstories are a lot of fun and a lot of a lot of goodness kind of packed into them. Midwick. Yeah. Pretty badass. I gotta, I gotta yeah. say. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Was <laughs> we'll one armed Midwick ain't that effective? Ah <laughs> oh, shit! I'm like like I'm sixth again. Damn it! <laughs> now we'll make something cool. So one of the neat things that happened to Adam uh, that didn't actually get described in game, but we'll describe it next time is that remember how the elves were extracting or the the creatures were extracting brains from the elves, and then there was this magical explosion. One of the yes. intellects of the uh, of the um, uh, one of the intellects of the elves got absorbed into his cloak. 
That's so cool. Donovan has an intelligent magic item, kind of like the cloak from Doctor uh, Strange. We gave it different personalities cool. and yeah. different powers, yeah. but but basically he's got a flying cloak that that is now trapped with him, and he might he might realize this. So Midwick's cool thing because we didn't get to play through all twelve levels. Think of the yeah. cool artifacts and magic items that you guys have, right? Yeah, for, that's for true. Your main characters. This is to try to make up for it. So the bad thing that happened to your hand is going to be more like a, as a free action, your hand appears and the ghostly gun is already there and it maybe allows you to do ghost touch, but with that gun only. Uh, but, when, but when you're not, when you're not firing, the hand, you know, goes away or something like that. So, uh, I already attack ghosts at like ghost touch. Do you? Yeah. How does that work? It's a, there's a feat. There's a there's a mythic feat. Uh, which one is it? No, you get rid of uh, displacement. Or oh, sorry. Uh... Mythic precise shot. Uh, range attacks. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, you know, it's, it takes a mythic point. Um, for a minute, I can uh, attack ethereal and insubstantial foes. Oh, you are right. That's a mythic precise shot. Above that's with swarm and everything else. Okay, well, we'll think of something. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I can go through cover. You expend one use of mythic power one minute. Your range attacks also affect ethereal and ins insubstantial foes. Or maybe that describes what it is. Maybe that's how your thing works. Yeah, that's cool. As but a, it works flavor, for me. Yeah. As a flavor text kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I'm not going to try to make it bad. That would be nice. Because <laughs> uh, I'd have to rework some of these feats. <laughs> uh, yeah. Th this two weapon fighting is not working for me, Marty. <laughs> I created a gunslinger kind of um, um, uh, like a 12 level mythic uh, gunslinger that is a no, no, inquisitor. It's... 16th level. 16th level Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what you asked for. Two, two weapon fighting. He fired it off hurts all his so bullets, much. But he used Greater Bane. Greater Bane, does Bane affect all weapons you're holding or just one? Both. Uh, he's no, got he, double Bane, so it affects he both. He puts it on got both. It. So he put 46 on each of his weapons. He hit 9 times, 4 times 9, 36. So 36. Is it, D6. question, is it a swift to do that? Yes. Yeah. And you hit nine times because do you have another swift for more bullet? Like I'm trying to figure out how you. He's 16th so level, so he's got four attacks. No swift for both or each gun. One. One. So no. swift, swift Sw for. Swift for. Swift, swift, oh, me... He only has to spend one swift action, is what I mean. Yes, yeah, one oh, swift oh, action okay, for both. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, but sorry, he uses sorry. he uses two rounds of bane when he does that. That's insane. <laughs> He's the guy you don't want to fight. You don't. Fight yeah. Him. You don't. You don't fight him. You run away when he appears. You do not fight this guy. Not on his terms. <laughs> you you fight down. You fight him in a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> you win initiative. Yeah. Yes. You, yeah. Good luck. He's got plus eighteen. It's disgusting. My um my my wizard spell was going to be teleport. By the way. Because I had. Uh, you see instead, of abundant, bloop, bloop. <laughs> instead of abundant, I, because I um, I have that item now, yep. I don't need to get abundant ammo. So I'd use, uh, I was going to put it towards teleport. Super fun. Okay. Yeah, no, it's pretty badass. <laughs> um, I th think we're good. We, um, Firefox was with, is with us and still is. Frozen gnomes. Frozen gnomes. Um, Shiraz. Good to, was good with to, us. Yeah. Um, it was pretty uh, crazy. See you guys out. So there's a few shoutouts there. Uh, thanks to Mark for running some of the game tonight. And that then, was fun. Uh, thanks to Adam uh, for next week or pre thanks. We will pre thank him. And then of of course Ahmed, you didn't fall asleep tonight. That was good. Good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Got me on my toes. Got <laughs> 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 my toes all night. <laughs> And we'll continue with uh, with the, the, the last bit of uh, Midwick's um, uh, backstory next week, and then we'll get into a Zildin in Hell. Yay!
on episode thir- uh, 53. Buck, of buck her up. Yes. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. I'm going to end the stream. Uh, it was good hanging yep. out with you guys. I hate it when we go two weeks without playing game, but... Uh, um, uh, it was a long out. time for me. It, it felt like forever. It was a yeah. long time for me. And uh, <laughs> I hope everyone on the stream and everyone watching on the YouTubes later on enjoys this as much as we do. Yeah. Yeah. Peace. Good night, guys. Night. XP. Yeah, I'll, I'll be <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs>